The drop in a trail running shoe represents the difference in height between your heel and toe. It's measured in millimetres and it affects how your foot strikes the ground when you run. A high drop shoe will have a drop height of between 9 and 12 millimetres and it causes the heel to strike the ground first. High drop shoes tend to have more cushioning under the heel as you can see here. An example of a high drop shoe is the Salomon Speed Cross 4, which has a drop height of 10 millimetres, and also the La Sportiva Mutant, which also has a drop height of 10 millimetres. A medium drop trail running shoe will have a drop height of around 5 to 8 millimetres. This encourages a midfoot strike, so a different place in your foot compared to a high drop shoe. Um, an example of a medium drop trail running shoe is the Scott Supertrack RC, which has a 5 millimetre drop and also the On Cloud Venture Peak, which has a six millimetre drop. Low drop trail running shoes will have a drop height of between zero and four millimetres. This encourages a four foot strike, so it encourages you to strike the ground on basically the balls of your feet. An example of a low drop trail running shoe is the Merrill Trail Glove, which has a zero millimetre drop. So essentially it's completely flat underneath your foot. And also the Scott Kinabalu RC 2.0, which has a three millimetre drop. Um, medium and low drop shoes have varying amounts of cushioning. You can have some with none to um, shoes with lots of it. Um, it's possible to have a low drop shoe like this one um, with a lot of cushioning running from heel to toe but with very little difference between the height. Unlike high drop shoes like this one, you will definitely see notice a significant amount more cushioning under the heel. There is no one size fits all with drop heights. Uh, some runners may prefer low drop shoes, whereas others will get on much better with higher drop shoes. Um, it all depends on your running style and what you find most comfortable. Um, different drop heights will engage your muscles in different ways. So if you decide to go from a high drop shoe to a low drop or even vice versa, it's best to make the transition very gradual and just build up to it. If you're unsure what's best for you, it's well worth getting fitted at a specialist store.